Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to uh, either avoid anonymous or private phone calls or do something fun with them, reroute them, use your imagination using your grand stream PBX. You should be able to take this general concept and apply it to any PBX. Um, not all PBXs may allow you to do this, but let's uh, hop on over. So here is my office, Grandstream 6202. This thing is definitely battle tested. Uh, I will be completely upgrading to the 6300 series, but this should work on the 6200 series, the 6300 series. And if you happen to be on the 6100 series, give us a call uh, reach out at willyhow.com because we should talk about maybe some sort of a plan to get you on a newer PBX, whether it's a 6200 series or a 6300 series. Uh, the 6100 series is still getting security fixes, but it is feature frozen. So let's take a look at it. So what we want to do is, you know, all the time you're getting anonymous, you're getting blocked. Maybe you know a phone number. Uh, maybe you don't want to receive you know, phone calls from uh, 800 numbers, whatever. You can kind of adapt this to what you want to do. There's a couple of different ways that we can do this. Uh, both of them are going to be on our inbound routes. So I only have Telnix trunking now. So it shows my default inbound route. And of course, this is the DID for the, the office. And we mess around and do a lot of different configuration and a lot of different testing. So ignore this, ignore this pattern. If you have your DID already set up or if you're receiving all inbound calls, that's cool. We're going to ignore this part for now. There's two different ways to do, and there's probably more than that, but there's two quick ways to do what we're going to do. So you can blacklist on an inbound route. You can blacklist phone numbers. And you can see here that I have anonymous and anonymous both blacklisted. So if I enable this and save it, what's going to happen is when somebody calls and they have that caller ID, you've seen it, it says anonymous, It's uh, they're going to get like a generic error saying that my number has been disconnected. We're just going to stop the call right there. And it's just not going to get any further. So you can do this. You could also, you know, add private to this. And do it, you know, uppercase, lowercase, just to make sure you've got all the gamut. Um, and then save it and apply it. And it's going to do the same thing, right? So now if caller ID comes in and it just says private or anonymous, it's going to stop the phone call. It's never going to get any further. You can add, you know, whole phone numbers here. The other thing that you can do is you can use uh, caller ID. I'm system doesn't like that I'm changing too many things here. You can use caller ID to your advantage or you can use caller ID patterns. So if you remember how we set up um, outbound routes and also uh, inbound routes and, and call patterns, this is going to look a little familiar to you. So let me save that real quick. So what we can actually do is right here, do you see on this inbound route where it says no limit for caller ID pattern? So if I edit this, we've obviously got our, you know, the numbers that somebody's calling, right? This is our DID. But then over here, this is where we can match caller ID and then we can do things based on that caller ID. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add a new inbound route and I want it to be, I'm only taking calls for this DID. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to force a 10 or 11 digit caller ID mask, any numbers. You can tighten this up, right? If you understand how uh, masks work. If you do need international calls, you'll have to add an international mask I keep off the top of my head. What would that be? 12 or 13 uh, characters, but we're going to do uh, 10 and 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, because it could come through either way. Then what we're going to do is we are going to do an IVR 
and that is our H, uh, our Willie Howe technology. I need to rename that. Um, our Willie Howe technology IVR, and that's what you get when you call here 24 7, 365. I'm going to click save on that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here uh, to this other inbound route where it says no limit because here we've not specified any caller ID match. So this is going to be private. This is going to be, you know, if, if sometimes you get like four digits that try to call you five digits, things like that. What we're going to do is we're going to change the default destination to this little announcement that I made, made called blocked caller ID. And we're going to let that run 24 7, 365. So now if you call and you have a legitimate caller ID, or at least maybe you're spoofing the caller ID, but if you're sending 10 or 11 digits, you're going to get the standard IVR. You're going to be able to select somebody to talk to. If you don't, you're going to get this little message where we tell you that we don't take anonymous or private private calls. We just don't. And then we hang up on you. So that's a couple different ways. And I'll leave this and... Um, if, if you're watching this, you know, uh, and I'll leave the phone number down in um, the description, but uh, uh, you can capture it here. Go ahead and you can block caller ID by doing a star 67. So you can test this live on our system. And I'll put the star 67 down in the description as well. Uh, but if you dial star 67, you're going to get this little announcement. If you don't block your caller ID, you're going to be able to ring uh, the phone that's right here on my desk. It rings my cell phone, rings a couple other phones. Um, but that's how you can take, um, you know, caller ID masks and, and apply it. Or you can do the blacklist on the inbound route. The blacklist is, I mean, it's quick. It's over. You don't even know it's happening. Uh, this, this, uh, way with the caller ID, you can also redirect calls. I, I have a client um, where, uh, after business hours, we are, um, we are sending anonymous calls to the city. Uh, I think it's three one one, right? So send it to somewhere where if, if those people uh, need help, they need to talk to somebody at night, uh, send them over to, to three one one. And, uh, then during the day, we don't have that requirement. It's just a nighttime thing to make sure people are getting, uh, the help that they need. So if you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a whole bunch of affiliate links down below along with a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We can help you with a huge array, a, a, uh, a vast array of IT needs from voice over IP to security, uh, wired and wireless networking storage. Uh, we even do some programming and things like that. So if you need us, that's how you get us. Once again, I'm Willie. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. If you like this, please come back, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.